Today we are going to talk about the minigun by No Name, which is Spray Gunner's house brand, of course. And this is a new airbrush for the market. Why is an airbrush not a spray gun? Well, because you don't have the separate fan control pattern. So this is works similar to an Awada TH2, but they are not a direct comparison to an Awada TH2. So if you compare this fan cap head to the Procon Boy 290, which is nearly identical to the Iwata TH with the exception of the Mac valve in dimension and everything. This is an absolutely amazing little airbrush. However, I wanted something to do a little bit more. Well, I have spray guns. This is by Iwata LPH 80. And let's compare that fan size next to each other. So this is a fantastic spray gun, but if you do not have a pretty hefty compressor, you're not going to be able to run one of these. And, you know, they're, they're rather expensive. You know, they are, they are a pretty expensive spray gun. This was fairly expensive for an airbrush, but it has a great deal of value. It's going to come in this packaging like this. Yours won't be damaged. Mine was uh, actually discounted because of that little crush on that box. I got the only one like that. So I saved a few dollars just over that. So and it's going to come well packaged. The reason this box is so large is because this is the cup that goes on this gun. So that's the cup that's going to come with it. And the lid's around here somewhere. I'm not going to worry about finding it right now. So you have a rather large cup to carry a considerable volume of paint. This cup probably looks pretty familiar. This is going to be basically the same cup that is, I believe, that is on the Sparmax GP850, is it? And then the Grex, you know, the Grex Tritium spray guns are going to come with this cup. And you'll be seeing me use it in a video like this. They have the PPS adapter. So you have this, this adapter right here that adapts to this PPS adapter. So it was $5 for this adapter and $10 for this one. And then of course, PPS cups. I had it for just two days. I bought the brush plain. I wanted to see how much I liked it before I bought PPS cups. And within two days, I went ahead and bought the PPS cups and adapters for it. You can buy the kit completely with the cups and adapters if you would like to right off the bat, but of course you don't. You can just buy it plain and you'll still have the cup. Everything will work just fine. So the one that I have here, this one is set up with a 0.8 needle, okay? So they also have this in a 0.6 and you can buy that as a combo and i'm probably going to go ahead and order a 0.6 tip and you know head and everything for it so or nozzle and you know set up for it so i want to take this off and let you guys take a look at this nozzle real quick so since people are going to constantly compare this to iwata th i'm going to tell you how this nozzle is different and significantly different the wrench flat is back here okay on this airbrush and on the awata th it's up here and these are this cone is cut so in theory that should technically atomize a little bit better so your air comes out of here and then it comes over these four slots in the nozzle comes down the cone and sprays out I'll pull that nozzle out real quick. I needed to clean it anyway because I've actually done all my testing. And so it's been being run for the last couple of days. It's sprayed a bunch of pearls, metallics, all sorts of other stuff and clear coats. So you're not going to damage this like a lot of, lot of airbrushes. You know, it's a great big fat nozzle, you know, very similar to what comes on a spray gun. Smaller than a spray gun, but, you know, very, very similar. So you're not going to have a problem breaking that. There are no gaskets on it, so, you know, clearly they're pretty confident that they're able to get a good seal on the nozzle without needing any gaskets. The needle can come out just like an airbrush. Yeah. 
that's that 0.8. I want to point out something for those of you who've never used um, one of these mini guns like this before. And when you go into that nozzle, hopefully you guys can see that, it does not protrude. It's a very blunt tip on that tip so that you, when you pull back, when you pull back that for paint, you get a big blast of paint right off the bat. And that's what you really want if you're trying to get something to spray out a nice atomized pattern. You don't want the needle sticking out here because what'll happen is you got that constant flow of air, you'll be getting a lot of tip dry and that's gonna be a big problem when you're dealing with a spray gun. You can't stop and clean it off if you were doing a lot of spraying. So, so all spray guns, all any quality spray gun manufacturer, any quality, you know, fan cap airbrush should be manufactured like that. And that's exactly what you get, you know, with the 290. That's exactly what you get with the Iwata TH. Some of the others, not so much. Just looking at it real close, you can tell it's actually a very pretty gun, very well built. The laser and printing in here is very well done. This handle is very comfortable. Nice touch putting that plastic on the tip. The trigger, you know, when you pull back for air, it's not as tight as what I'm used to, but that's not a problem. Some people actually like that. I, I would prefer the string spring to be a little tighter. Um, not when I'm pulling back to get paint. That spring's pretty normal, but that air spring is pretty light. Pretty easy to just bump and to hit the air with, but it's really, I'm picking a hair when I, when I say that. Um, very beautiful gun. There is one slight, very, very tiny blemish right here in the chrome that you probably won't be able to pick up. And I really uh, am grasping at straws to pick that apart. That's really not a big issue. Um, all signs at this point point to a very, very high quality, well-built piece of equipment. And, you know, I'm going to go into some spraying here in a moment. We'll see how this thing sprays out, and then I'll give you guys my thoughts on the end. So we've got the Omni Max spray pattern. We got the PS290 Max spray pattern on a round cap, and we have the Minigun Max spray pattern on the round cap. So we've got some scrap paper set on the bowl board. I've got some Createx paint. And we're set at 25 PSI. So when I pull the trigger, it's at 25 PSI. Give you an idea of the fan pattern size that you can get out of the PS290. So now I have my minigun, same paint, set it at the same pressure. So when I pull them back, I'm at 25 PSI. Uh, full fluid might be a little much for that. I'm just using my PPS adapter as a reservoir because I don't need a lot of paint for this. Now, of course, that doesn't mean you have to spray it to where it's that wide. We can cut in on the fluid a little bit, adjust our pressure a little bit. You know, if you wanted something a little smaller, turn the pressure up a little bit, you're gonna get finer atomization. As you can see, for full fluid, uh, the way I ran this this piece, the pressure was a little bit low that creates that speckly, and I'll zoom in on that in a moment. So as you can see here, we were able to achieve fine atomization that you're wanting. You're wanting the smaller, smaller dots. This is where I had the fluid tip wide open and running at a lower pressure those bigger dots so that just meant i needed just either a little bump up the pressure a little bit or a little bit less fluid take take those bumps out of course that's what we did here and able to achieve those fine that's what you're looking for you want you want those lines to be atomized really really well as you can see here i got about a three inch pattern on my 290 which which is the max that I've ever been able to get on it. It's about three inches. It's about the best I've ever been able to get it to atomize well. Um, as you can see, we're right around four inches and a little bit fatter on, you know, the minigun. And of course, 
you can see how finely when all I did there was turn the fluid down a little bit I was showing you guys how if we turn down the fluid how it atomized extremely finely now and yeah so you can adjust how big your pattern is to a degree even though you don't have a fan pattern adjustment okay so now I am going to mix up Wicked Metallic Elegance. And the reason I'm doing that is I wanted to spray something really thick, right? So that's a really, really thick paint. You see that? You see how thick that is in that card? I mix that up with the 4011 reducer, 10% in my PPS cup, and which should make clean up a whole lot easier because I'll be able to just keep everything inside that PPS cup. And when I get done spraying that coat on here, as you can see, that covered absolutely fantastic and really, really quickly. Um, having that large spray pattern is a definite bonus. We're going to spray three coats of UVLS gloss onto that speed shape and see how it handles the UVLS gloss, which I'm actually not concerned about at all. It should handle that very well. And one of the really cool things about a PPS cup is, you know, between coats, you can just wipe the tip off. You can lay your gun down. You're not going to hurt anything. It's not going to dry up in there. You're not going to wind up with any issues. You could leave that paint in there for hours if it's not catalyzed. So anyway, so how did it come out? So the metallic elegance, that's the metallic elegance on the speed shape. That's, that's you know... That is straight off the gun, no, no buffing or anything. Remember being that it is, it is a metallic, there's a little bit of a peel in there from the metallics. Normally you would need to either really coat it in, you know, pretty heavy or you need to, you know, buff it a little bit to get rid of that slight grain from the metallics. Yeah, I would say that's definitely a, a huge success. Of course, you don't have to, you know, come out here and spray with the largest spray that you that you have i mean you, you can you can make a line you're not going to win any awards for detail but another important thing can your compressor run it if you have one of these little guys like this nothing more than the very smallest short brief period of time so we're going to say no these have been very very common lately and yes, this will run it, and as a matter of fact, it'll run it for a pretty extended period of time. Excuse how dirty this is. This is my normal day-to-day -day compressor, and this is sitting in another room, and of course, it's obviously filthy. And yes, that would run it all day long. This is the No Name Master Blaster 2. It is a twin piston compressor, and yes, it will absolutely run it. Matter of fact, all my testing has been done on that. I not only did I spray the speed shape you saw, the stuff that you saw me painting here, it also, if you saw the Santa Claus painting, I used it on the Santa Claus painting to base the black background. And I varnished that 18 by 24 inch canvas. Yes, I laid an entire coat of varnish a semi gloss varnish on that 18 by 24 there's my chair so you get an idea how big that is and i did all of that with the minigun all right guys so who's going to be picking these up i think they're awesome um i'm extremely pleased with it very very happy with it it's doing exactly what i wanted to do i wanted something a little bit bigger than what my 290 was able to give me that's exactly what i'm getting now i can actually use a spray gun instead of having to pull out my spray gun make sure I'm attached to a bigger hose to varnish my paintings and things like that. This will take a care of a lot of that work. Plus I have the PPS adapters now for it. It's going to be awesome. You can get PPS adapters for the 290 as well. And they're an awesome brush as well. I'll leave you guys links for the material for the things I used in this video. We talked about this video today, not the, all the compressors, maybe the master blaster, but they will, you can only get this spray gunner right now. They are putting it on Amazon to be able to be purchased on Amazon as well. And as soon as that link is available, I will update the links on there. But for now, I'll leave you a link directly to the spray gunner. If you're going to buy them, please use my link. Click through there so they know that I sent you over there. Anyway, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today. Hopefully, you got something out of this video. I'm Bill Kennedy with the Airspace. I hope you guys appreciate it and maybe hit the subscribe button like share all that good stuff anyway, that's gonna be a wrap y'all have a good one bye